In Odisha, you know, we are working very closely with the government of Odisha and uh, we have been able to establish four centers already like uh, Bhuvaneshwar, Beharampur, Raur Kela and Baleshwar. Another four centers have been approved in Korapur, Jaipur, Jajpur, Angul and Sambalpur. In fact, if you look at the collaboration that we have with the government of Odisha is that we are the prime consultant for their, you know, IT, smart city Bhuvaneshwar and Wi-Fi Bhuvaneshwar. Apart from that, uh, we are working very closely uh, with the government of Odisha to establish uh, a center of excellence for augmented reality and virtual reality in, uh, in collaboration and support from Srimati Susmata Bhagchi in IIT Bhuvaneshwar. This center is going to work for the you know, development of technologies uh, indigenously so that that can be democratized and made available to a large number of entrepreneurs and stakeholders. And it would also support the startups in, this, in the area of uh, augmented reality and virtual reality. In fact, it's a very noble approach that we have taken together where government of India, STPI, government of Odisha, uh, philanthropists like Srimati Susmita Bhagshi and IIT Bhuneshwar are collaborating together. Apart from that, we are also you know, working for establishment of an electropreneur park in collaboration with government of Odisha and industry. Apart from that, we are uh, already uh, taking initiatives to establish the characterization lab and fab lab right in Bhuneshwar. We have invested uh, a lot in Bhuneshwar. In Goth Patna, we are coming up with a very state-of-art IT infrastructure where we will also house tier 4 data center, uh, a state-of-art incubator in place, and we will also support small and medium IT entrepreneurs in our facility. See, in Odisha, you know, the uh, export that were reported uh, in the uh, state of Odisha in year 2017-18 has been in the tune of um, uh, 3,400 crore. Uh, this sector has already employed about directly about 18,000 people. And the whole uh, ecosystem is able to support large number of engineers and indirect uh, employment. So the base, this is the foundation of so many other startups uh, uh, in the state of Odisha. And the government of Odisha has already come up with their startup policy. STPI is working very closely with the government of Odisha to support the startups in IT and ITS sector. So there we see a lot of uh, synergy and opportunity to collaborate with each other to promote the startups, to promote the IT industry and also to promote the export from the state. In fact, uh, Odisha, uh, as I said that there are eight uh, uh, locations that are coming up very well. Uh, government of Odisha is taking initiative to support uh, emergence of IT industry in these locations. Apart from that, you know, Odisha has a large number of talent pool and they also have a lot of NRIs in U.S. and Silicon Valley, and they are willing to come back and invest in uh, startups and uh, they want to collaborate with the local entrepreneur. That makes it perfect, uh, you know, because of the skill, because of the talent, because of the NRI connect, because of a strong IT industry already in place in Bhuneshwar. I am sure that in times to come, all these stakeholders would work together and will be able to, you know, create a huge IT industry in the state of Odisha. In fact, uh, this uh, uh, conclave has been able to bring together a lot of uh, experts and uh, throughout the day they have uh, deliberated together and uh, you already know that IT, uh, the Bhuvaneshwar is already number one in the smart city list and it has already taken a lot of initiatives. So they have uh, appointed uh, chief technology officer, has been able to put in place a lot of initiative to make sure that uh, Bhuneshwar becomes the, you know, not only the first in of its kind, but it also takes lead in all aspects of making it a smart city. And the deliberations that have uh, been taken place in uh, this uh, conclave would go a long way in, in, you know, establishing and supporting the initiative of the government to making Bhuneshwar as a smart city. In fact, uh, Odisha Lab has been working uh, for long in creation of con digital content, and I have already been in touch with them at so many occasions they have uh, been working together and Odisha Live uh, has been able to take a 360 degree view of all sorts of happening around and has been able to create digital content so that that is made available and is uh, already available to all all the stakeholders so I am very confident about the role of Odisha Live and I must congratulate the Odisha Live for doing such a great job.